what is up everyone Northgate here welcome to my channel as the title says milestone 2 is complete for me we're gonna do a showcase of a mount that you already seen or seeing on the screen it's a whirlwind just similar to hurricane whirlwind or whatever whirlwind but it's a prize so i collected it with that being said i'm gonna say just one more thing before we start about the improved chest reward changes i have obtained around 500 to 1000 legendary keys and i'm going to put that to the test so i'll be starting from the lower skirmishes to the upper dungeons and we'll see how that goes so far i got five scrolls of life some two or three tarmalum bars and that was it but i still need a lot of work to do i'm not going to jump and say oh this is great i'm going to get a decent sample and then we'll see what you can get obviously it's a good thing to do However, I want your opinion in the comment section. Leave me the comments. What did you get from the dungeons, from the reroll chest? Because I have to remind you, I will make a guide for keys also. That you can only make one key per 20 hours for either is the Mogorgon, FBI, any dungeon. Now, back on topic. What you're seeing here is a glorious whirlwind. Now, we're going to go into my campaign rewards and here we are. So as you can see, I hit my milestone pretty easy. I was doing it casually. Not jumping instances like a monkey to do the big heroics. I was just doing the quest from the quest board, doing it with my friends, a little hunts. Hunts are giving you 60 favors. Now I already claimed everything. We can upgrade the new weapons, which I do really want to have. And of course I waited to do this with you together. I already claimed Glorious Whirlwind. Now I'm going to claim this transmute, Robes of the Haunted, that I really like. So here it is. Now it's mine. We have Reforges Apron, which I do not like, but I'll claim it. And this is another box, Blast Rings of the Herald. I already showed you this, so let's just claim that too. So, my milestone is complete. I am done. I do not care about the leaderboard. That's for somebody else. Hunts will unlock when the server progress is done. Let's go into my inventory now. And let's check out this Robes of the Haunted. So obviously we're going to convert it to the appearance item. Let's change appearance item and see how it looks like. There we go. Pretty cool. And here is how it looks like when I'm off my mount. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know what you think. I'm not really a gear freak or... Uh, well, I am a gear freak. I am really not so much into fashion. I do like this things that are following me and going around me i think it's pretty cool is it worth it like 15 bucks i don't know i don't think it is and regarding the mount by the way it's a power mount now if you look at my mount i have a full 100 percent bolster so it's giving me 15,000 power so this is how the mount looks like I can draw him around a little bit. It's leaving a yellow trail behind. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. They could have made it a little bit more, I don't know how to say this, not to look like Arcane Whirlwind or the mount from Tower of the Mad Mage, unless it's the same one, which I highly doubt it. The only thing that I see is yellow here, but the entire room is kind of yellowish. So there you go. Anyway, moving forward, let's check out this box. I already showed you this box because I'm actually using the Silver Ring of the Herald. And quite honestly, I have Striker Ring of the Veteran. I don't know if I can even change it with anything except Electrum one or maybe Gold Ring. Yeah, I could use it with Gold Ring. Then I will be over armor penetration, change the companion, and that's it. Other than that, I don't see the point in, in me just getting another Silver Ring because I already use it. They won't stack anyway. If they stack, that's bad on me. So that's what you get. It's the same box as from Milestone 1. You can't sell it. It's bound to account. At least that's one good thing. Milestone is done. Hunts will be unlocked when the server progress is done. We got new features, tier 2 hunts. So now I'm just going to continue making videos. And I'm pretty relieved that this didn't took me a while, actually. You know, I wasn't like hardcore grinding or anything like that. And one more reminder, of course, I did got the freebies. 100,000 rough AD. These are the freebies. Tears of the Redeemed for the new weapons, which I can basically show you now. This is Honor X of the Blade. As you can see, we're going to refine it. We need wards. 
We can try with five or just for the kicks. I highly doubt. Oh, it succeeded actually. Here it is. And we're going to need, of course, to wait for tuning tongues of the divine. And we're going to need demon remains. One more time. I got holy Zariel, which is similar to fear Zariel that I had to pay for, as you can see. And that's it. That's it for now. So I was doing quests with my friends to get more favors alone. Sometimes I didn't do for a few days anything. And of course, the important thing to do is actually the weeklies. So do your weeklies. And of course, now that you're doing some stuff on hard mode, you can get a legendary mount. One I think already dropped, but how high chances of that are, I don't even want to think about it. So this is it for now. My tips for you, just do it casually or do it on your own pace. How I did it, I just easily go pick up the quest and kill everything in my pot. If I saw an encounter, like not, not big heroic one with the demons, I utilized it, if you know what I mean. That's it for now. Northside is out and I will see you soon. Shout out to my channel members. Shout out to Ouija, Kret, Saskia and Stefan for helping me out. And I will guys, I will see you soon.